Hey friends, welcome back to another video. We'll hear Orlando based flight attendant. Hope you are doing wonderful. Today I started a three day trip with a 4.30 a.m. report time. It is sometime close to 3 p.m. We did three legs today. We did Orlando to Cincinnati to Atlanta. Then we had a two hour sit. We swapped aircrafts and then we flew here to Tampa. I don't know if you guys remember that a long time ago I was supposed to have an overnight here that was actually 24 hours and it didn't work out because I got stuck somewhere. But now I'm here and I am very, very excited. I haven't had lunch so I actually have food and then we're gonna go walk around. There is a supermarket around here so I might go there because I only bought food for today and we are on a three day trip like I said. Tomorrow we have a 24 hour overnight in Fort Myers and I know there's a few spots to get food over there. So maybe tonight if I go to the grocery store, I just need to get breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. And maybe I can save some of that for dinner. And if I do decide to go somewhere for dinner in Fort Myers, then I can do that. For this trip, I'm actually flying to the back galley. I am hungry, so let's eat. I didn't really pack a lot. This room is kind of big and empty, so I think it's going to be a bit echoey. I'm going to show you what I am having for lunch right now. A chicken Caesar salad from Publix. These are turkey and cheddar sliders. I'm going to have these two tomorrow for breakfast. I have one of these balance breaks left. I have three. I gave one to the other flights and I'm working with in the back. And I'm going to have this Olipop. We'll talk in a little bit. Honestly, coming to the grocery store without having a list is kind of dangerous because sometimes I just want to throw like a whole bunch of stuff into the basket or a cart. Stuff that I don't really need, but I want to try. I've seen these bottles everywhere and I knew that they sell them here and they're currently on sale. Should I go for it? Do I need another bottle is a real question. Maybe not, but do I want it? Yes. So far, these are the items I have. Let's see what else we find. If you guys didn't know this about me, I am obsessed with bottles. I love bottles, mainly Yeti, but Hydro Flask has been getting my eye lately, so I don't know. I almost want to buy the bullet and go for it, but no, we're not going to do it. I am now out of Whole Foods. There wasn't really a lot as far as like food that I could buy for tomorrow, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just power through with what I have and then just eat something when I get to Fort Myers. Now I'm going to walk around, see if I find something else to do. If not, I'll just head back over to the hotel. Officially back in my room. Let me lower this a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna show you what I got at Whole Foods. I have some water. I did have one of these when I got here, but I drank the whole thing already. So more water, this was 99 cents. Chocolate chip Cliff Bars. This pineapple was on sale. I think I paid like two bucks maybe, or something like that. It looks very good. It's vanilla bean uh, overnight oats. I got two of these probiotic sodas. I had the Olipop earlier. I didn't like it. I think it's too sweet. I still drank it. The plan for right now is to just chill here in the room. I'm probably gonna shower and just watch TV for a little bit. I'm gonna watch Suits. Just finished brushing my teeth and getting ready for bed. It is a few hours later since the last time we spoke. And now I have to go to bed because I have to wake up super early. I am currently watching Friends. I can't believe that Matthew Perry passed away. He plays the character of Chandler, Chandler Bing. I'll see you tomorrow morning for day two of this three-day trip. My first alarm went off at like 4, 10 a.m. I just kept battling with do I get up and then hop in the shower, start getting ready, do I sleep for maybe another 30 minutes? And so I was just tossing and turning for like maybe an hour before I finally got up. <laughs> I've been battling with this coffee maker all morning. This is like the fifth time I run it. And I don't know what's going on. There's a Starbucks next to the gates. Uh, I don't know if it'll be open. And if it'll be open, I don't know how the mobile order is. I don't know if they take forever. It is 5.41. I need to be downstairs at 5.55 for pickup. 
Our port time is at 6.25. So it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna go by super quick. All of our flights, both of our flights are full. So, it's just trying to burn. Hang on. I don't understand why this coffee maker is so loud. I only use the one bed, this lounge area, a desk. Over here we have the kitchen and area, microwave, fridge, sink, coffee, condiments. And look at this, it even has silverware, a toaster, mixing bowls. This is great. I always like to leave like trash out and then this one said recycles. Nothing here in the closet. And then this was the bathroom here. I always throw whatever towels all together on the floor. So it's easier for housekeeping. This is a room that we had for the last 15 hours. I really liked it, very nice. And now it is time to finish up packing this baby and getting out of here. Our flights today were super easy we did two flights and this is distracting people were actually super good we were on time and got here to four miles early and now we have a 24 hour overnight I am starving I ate all my foods so definitely gonna go get lunch and I think I'm gonna go to Chipotle for that there's a T-Mobile store around so I need a new Apple watch so I might go there and see if they have any Black Friday offers I've had my Apple Watch for like five years and it's just giving me a hard time with the battery. I'm also on the hunt for some lifestyle shoes for my Europe trip and I might have to find a new carry-on item. A lot of stuff that I need to do and if I can do all of that on this overnight, I will and I'm gonna bring you guys along but I'm starving so let's get out of here. I have a connecting door and I heard people there and I don't think they're crew. So if they're not crew and they get super loud, I'm gonna go downstairs and, and switch rooms. I'm not supposed to be in these rooms, and if they're not crew, then I definitely don't want it <laughs> back in my room. So as I was walking downstairs, the very nice lady at the front desk, she was like, hey, what are you up to? And I was like, actually, can I talk to you? And I told her about the room situation and how I can hear my neighbors, and she's like, actually, you're not supposed to be in a room with a connecting door and I was like, I know. And I was like, they're being kind of loud next door. So anyway, I'm gonna gather all of my belongings and go to a different room. I think the hardest part is gonna be to transfer all this stuff from my hangers. But what if I move all my bags, bring these hangers and then just bring empty hangers back? Let's do that. Not me with the <laughs> clothes all around the hotel. <laughs> Did the hangers exchange? And now I'm going to my room. I literally left my bags out. Look at this. <laughs> Let's go. So I actually got carried away and I didn't talk to you guys, but I did go to Chipotle, had my lunch, and I'm just getting out of T-Mobile and I ended up getting a new Apple Watch. Now I think I'm gonna do a bit of walking around, see if maybe I find some coffee later. Maybe just go to another store or find a grocery store around here. There's a Costco, maybe I can go there. Can't really go there. And yeah, we'll just see what we do, but I'm excited. So far, I feel like this has been a successful layover. No success finding luggage for my trip to Europe. I went to Marshalls, I went to Ross, I went to Burlington to look for luggage, and I found luggage, but like an inch bigger than what it's supposed to be. And at this point, I don't know what to do. We actually just backpack it instead of just bringing a carry-on item. I don't know, I mean, I, I'm not bringing tons of clothes anyways, because I'm gonna be staying in Airbnbs, 
and so I'll be able to do laundry and use the clothes, I don't care. But ideally, I would like to just have a carry-on item with all my clothes and stuff and then just have my backpack with my personal stuff. But no success. I think I'm gonna start walking back to the hotel now. There isn't really much to do around here other than shopping. And I don't need to shop for anything other than luggage, but we already know how that went. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I saw a Stanley Cup and I was like, should I get it? But I'm not gonna get it. Anyway, let's go back to the hotel. I think I want to speak on this, but I don't want to give it too much vlogging time. But recently I had someone uh, talking about that I should be working for a reputable carrier. And I really don't care about that stuff, if I'm being honest. I think what a lot of people don't understand is that you should choose an airline based on your quality of life, work-life balance and what's really important for you. For me, it is important to be home. It is important to spend a lot of time with my family. It is important to take time to travel and do stuff that I want. Working for an airline based on the name of the airline or the reputation of the airline is not everything. I know and I make sure that I provide excellent customer service on every single flight, ultimately, I know the quality of service that I provide and that's enough for me. Obviously, what's gonna go viral in the news and the media is the bad stuff, not the good stuff. And people may not get to see the good stuff, but I get to experience the good stuff. And that's why in one of the comments I said, well, a passenger that has one bad experience that flies maybe once a year versus me that I fly over 100 hours every single month is very different. And yes, things can go wrong but they can go wrong anywhere. Just don't come on here bashing your alliance because of whatever information you see on the media. The reality is very different and I've experienced it on this trip. I've experienced it many times. And yes, I've had rough days. You guys have seen it here, but essentially I know that my attitude really plays a big part because I try not to be negative Nancy. I try to be positive and find the good and bad. And it doesn't matter where you go as long as you find the good and the bad, you're gonna be fine. I felt inspired to share that with you guys. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my Apple Watch. I have a little mess over there that I need to take care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I am thinking that maybe I wanna go out tonight. I don't know that I need to eat dinner, probably not. I wanna have at least a, a drink. So let's get settled and see what I end up doing tonight. Well, hey guys, I am ready to go out, it's hot out there, but I wasn't gonna wear the same shirt for the third time. So, got my new Apple Watchy. I'm gonna go sit there, have a little drinky drink, and I might get some food. It is 8.07, and yeah, I don't think I'll bring the camera. I'm just gonna sit there, eat and drink, and then I'll just come back to the room. So if I don't see you when I get back, I will for sure see you tomorrow morning for the third day. Well, hello guys. Good morning. It is the next day. I woke up, showered, got ready, went downstairs for breakfast, had a bacon, egg, ham, and cheese croissant. Had a banana, yogurt, and coffee. But it is 9.38 a.m. right now. My man is at 2 p.m. I don't have food for today. And I don't really think I need a lot, but I know I'll get hungry eventually. And so I think there's a Target and it's the only thing I can walk to because the other thing is Costco and we already talked about that. <laughs> I can't really grocery shop at Costco. I think I just need to get up and just go to Target, come back, maybe nap for a little bit, and then start getting ready to go to work. So I think we're gonna go with one of these options here for lunch, and maybe dinner as well. So maybe I'll get half a salad and a sandwich, but we'll see. I did find the oats I got at Whole Foods yesterday in Tampa, so I'm gonna get another one of those, but we'll see what else I get. 
as you guys know, which I've said it like a thousand times, I'm going to Europe in 10 days and we're trying to find a 28 spinner, 20 inch carry on. Which one's this one? So we need to find something that fits within the parameters or whatever of the airline because otherwise we're gonna have to like pay on every single flight we're flying on like four different airlines so i think i found the one 20 inch i found, I found it guys oh, oh crap 23 anyway but i think i think i might have found the one we need maybe let's see I'm going to shower and start packing all my stuff. I'm gonna try to nap for maybe 30 minutes. It is 12.10 right now. My van is at two. So if I can be done by like 12.45-ish, I can wake up at like 1.15 and then just go downstairs for my van and go to work. I feel like I've been doing more stuff out of the room than the time that I spent here in the room. So, so that's fun. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, and I stopped, I forgot to show you, but I stopped at Marshall's on the way back because I saw these set of packing cubes. And you guys know that the other ones I have, they're like expandable and I've had them for a very long time. But the European carriers are very strict with their, with their baggage policy. I was like, maybe I'm gonna need like smaller packing cubes and these would actually fit perfect. So I ended up getting these. These are from Travel On and there were seven bucks. I'm pretty sure this was probably like $14.99. And so I got these and the goal is to fit everything <laughs> in these four packing cubes and then just put it in that bag because I don't wanna have any issues. I don't wanna end up in the news saying customer, <laughs> customer refute. No, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, I took the screenshot. I'm flying in four different airlines for that trip. And so there's only one of them. One of the, uh, two flights are on Air France. So we don't have to worry about Air France, but the other airlines were flying on this Tap Air, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but I think it's Welling. Actually, I, I wanted to fly on this one because I've heard so many things and I'm like, huh. But Ryanair is the other one that we're going to fly on. They're ultra low cost carriers, like the airline I work for in the US. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna organize a room because it is so messy out here. And then I'm gonna shower and just lay down for a bit and then get ready to go to work. I'm not lying when I said this is messy. I've, <laughs> I'm never like this. And I have my luggage over there. Then I have some clothes on the other side. I got like shoes on the floor. I got other stuff here on the counter. Then I have my company tablet, charging. Let's get it together. Just finished doing all of my checks. We are flying on the 321 CEO. And, or people, some people say CEO. And yeah, I already did all my checks. We're ready to board and we're gonna do two flights. I don't know the flight time yet to Buffalo. And then after that, we'll be going to Orlando. made it to Orlando and I am done. I have to be back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. and it's sometime close to 11 p.m. And now I get to go to the apartment, sleep, unpack, pack again, and get ready for tomorrow's trip, which is a two-day trip. And honestly, this was such an amazing trip. No delays, no issues, nothing, you know, super uneventful trip. 
great layovers, great crew. So it was it was good to be back after after a few weeks off. But if you guys enjoyed coming on this vlog with me, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you next Sunday for another flight and video. Take care.